So let's determine when our function looks like an equation if it is even, odd, or neither. So how I like to do it is, right, if a function is even, that means f of a gives me the same value as f of the opposite of a. So this is even. If your function is odd, then f of a is the opposite of the value or expression we would get, so opposite of what we'd get if we evaluate f at negative a. This is odd, the two negatives. Neither if we don't get either of those two options. So what I like to do is take my function and then evaluate it at positive a, actually the a value, and then again at negative a. So let's take a look. So if we find f of a, what we get is 2a cubed plus 5a. Okay, no big deal. Now let's try f of negative a. So now replace I have an x, right? I'm going to replace it with a negative a. I'll take my time. 2 times the quantity, negative a cubed, plus 5 times the quantity, negative a. When my, right, what I'm plugging in has a negative sign, I like to use parentheses, so I'm careful. So I have a little tidy, I, tidying I can do with that negative a version. So negative a quantity cubed is the same thing as the opposite of a cubed. Are you with me on that? So negative a cubed is negative a times negative a times negative a, which is the same thing as this. So I have 2 times a negative a cubed. I'm going to move that negative sign out front. So now I have negative 2a cubed. 5 times negative a, it's a plus right there, so I have the one negative sign, so that'll be minus 5a. This is what I have for f of negative a. Now, is that exactly the same as f of positive a? Or is it exactly opposite of f of positive a? It's exactly the opposite. So, what we're going to do is, um, say that that is an odd function. And you can always check it by factoring that negative sign out of both things. But it comes out, and look, that's exactly what we had up there except for that negative sign out front. So f of x is, in fact, odd. So now let's check g of x, x squared plus x plus 1, and we'll do it g of a, We'll get a squared plus a plus 1. And then we'll do g of negative a. And we'll get the quantity negative a squared plus negative a plus 1. We'll tidy the negative a version. Negative a quantity squared. Ooh, that's positive a squared, because now I have two negatives, positive. Plus a negative a. OK, tidy that. It's just minus a. And then a plus 1. And now we're going to compare those two right sides. Are they exactly the same or exactly opposite? Well, let's see. I could try by factoring a negative sign out of this one here to see if it matches up exactly. Because sometimes, oh, negative sign in parentheses. So negative, let me do that again, negative out of a positive a squared. So that'll be behind a negative a squared, a plus a, a minus 1. So what's inside here is not the same thing as what's um, left over here for the positive. So it's not exactly the same. It's not exactly opposite. Or OK, so g of x is a neither. OK. Most of our functions in life are neither. Okay. And let's take last one here. Let's complete our table to make this function even. So remember, even f of positive a is the same thing as f of negative a. So if f of negative 2 is 8, then for it to be even, f of positive 2 has to be exactly the same thing. Okay? f of negative 1 is 5. f of positive 1 also has to be 5 for it to be even. And if you plot those points right on some axes, you'll see that for that to happen, they'll be symmetric over the y-axis like we saw last time.